I have lots of questions from uh, teachers who have made their light boards concerned about how smudged their glass looks and you know they don't have that same look at the, they're after with the uh, the talent really well lit the backdrop invisible in, in black and then the writing and the drawing really popping out so I'm going to show you how I've set up the lights in my studio and also the settings that I use on my DSLR to get this effect so firstly I'll take on a little tour of the studio so we're starting off on the uh, camera side of the light board that's my DSLR there it's probably about two meters behind the light board as you can see the walls and also the ceiling of the studio are not painted black it's really just not necessary at all you can see that there's two side lights uh, and there's also two top lights there as well um, the, the camera's probably around about two meters behind the light board there so having a look on this side you see the one of the lights the side lights and then the other side light over on the other side they're LED lights uh, LED studio lights and they've got the barn doors as well although barn doors really aren't necessary there's my shotgun mic that is sort of facing the kind of the wrong direction there it should be facing obviously towards the talent there's the two top lights sometimes called hair lights as you can see the back of the studio also uh, isn't painted black uh, I originally had it black a black backdrop but it's really not necessary so the camera I use is a digital SLR a Canon 700D and it's got the external port for external microphone jack there so without a doubt the main reason I use a digital SLR is so that I can put it into manual and that's when I can adjust all of the parameters so for example this is what it looks like when it's on just like your normal automatic setting see how you can see that it's very very smudged on the, you can see all the smudges on the glass you can see that the backdrop is quite light and uh, you know the writing's not really popping out it's certainly not what we want at all so now I'll show you what it looks like when we change it over to the manual settings now this is what it looks like when it's on manual as you can see now you can't see the smudges on the glass you can hardly see the backdrop at all it looks very very dark and the writing looks like it's popping out now I'm definitely no expert on cameras but when I first set up my lightboard studio and my camera basically all I did is I adjusted those three parameters ISO, aperture and shutter speed and for each of them I just basically went through from one extreme to the other and just investigated what effect it had so here I am adjusting this one and I do apologize about the um, the focus it's very hard to focus when it's something so close alright so I just played around so as you can see here when we're going lower it gets too bright and we can see um, the smudges in the backdrop and you know if I go too back too far back the other way it gets too dark and so basically you're just playing around with those three um, three variables to get exactly what you're after so anyway so the secret to really good uh, lightboard videos is to have good quality lighting on your talent and then most importantly it's about having a digital SLR that you put onto manual and you adjust the ISO the shutter speed and the aperture uh, until it looks the way that you want and that might not be the way that I like you know I like to have a lot of light on my talent you might want to have um, more of an emphasis on something else so it really is um, up to you in terms of what uh, what look you're after but it's just a matter of playing around so good luck and I hope that helps you